What's going on? Yeah. Hey, sir. How are we doing? Pretty good. See, he seems confident already. Right? I shouldn't be confident? <laughs> uh, what uh, have you guys formulated to try to stump me with? Well, I'm just curious on like what you like, what you believe about, and like what you think about. Because like in school, I'm taught something one way, mm -hmm. so I would, and I'm always here to hear another side of something. Sure. So. People in church are taught one thing too, right? Right. So do you feel like you're just in a different form of church, like more of a dogmatic? It's just called science in public schooling than church. Uh, I went to a Christian school, so I guess so. Yeah. You know, you see what I'm saying, though? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, in school, we're taught ball earth, evolution, um, and all these other various other topics. And then we get out, and then if we go against those said topics, we get called names or we get a label put on us. So, fair enough, right? Yeah. So, you felt, like, pretty confident when you sat down. What is it that you feel um, could offer me some proof that we live on a ball earth. Uh, I'm just here to listen to your opinion. Are you sure? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. Thanks a lot. I got a brochure here if you don't mind. Thank you. Brand new printed. Beautiful. My YouTube channel's on the bottom. Oh, really? Yeah. Awesome. Authentic intent. So, um, I guess like, you know, about three and a half or so years ago, it just never crossed my mind to look at the dynamics and the physics of water in our reality. Quick question for you. Yeah. So, like, I'm just curious, what do you do for like a living? Like, like what's your job? I create YouTube content. Okay, cool. Yeah. Awesome. How, how, how many years have you been doing that for? About two and a half years, two, two years. years, yeah. Working pretty good for you? I mean, I'm out here just to share knowledge that most people mm -hmm. um, find controversial online. You for know, sure. it's easy to call me an effing idiot online, but now I'm here right in front of you. Right, right. Right? Uh -huh. Not that you would, yeah. uh -huh. you know, keyboard warrior or anything, but right. it, it is a lot more tempting to call somebody out online being a flat earther yeah. than if you were, you know, to say, for example, a homosexual. Right, right. Right? So it's, I find it quite ironic to be called an effing idiot by homosexuals nowadays, oh. in my opinion. You know? So, but I don't think that a person's education or what they do for work necessarily gives or takes away from the information that's being provided if it's true, right? I mean, can we not all observe water laying level and flat after it has filled its container? Yeah. yeah okay. So on a massive scale like the oceans, how is it that then they all of a sudden bend to make a sphere in outer space that you've never seen before with your own eyes? Interesting. Interesting. Because we can measure over a distance. Mm -hmm. So how can, how can... Water, so... So I guess my question is now, so... With the given resources, how can you show people mm -hmm. that what you're saying is true? Because, like, like, like you said, we're all taught one way. Yeah, we're all taught, and like, uh, satellites have gone up and all that. So, how can you show with the amount of funding or whatever mm -hmm. that your way is true? Well, it's not necessarily my way. This is the way that it's always been. Okay. Yeah. We were just taught a different way now. Yeah. So, to have a ball, you have to have curvature, right? Right. Correct, right? This is this is a ball, right? And using trigonometry and spherical trigonometry, we can figure out what the curvature drop is over a distance. So if the Earth is a ball, then over a body of water, we should be able to figure out what that curvature drop is, right? And what it's been put into, within a couple hundred miles, it's accurate at 8 inches per mile squared. Okay. Another question for you. Yeah. So, so now, now I'm thinking. So, like, there's like, so are you still saying that there's a, a crust of the earth and like a core? Like, how would that work? So, what I feel most people do is when they think of flat earth, what they do is just replace the ball earth with a disc, mm -hmm. like a frisbee floating in outer space. Is that. Yeah. That. What do you agree? Yeah. Okay. So. It's not at all that. Mm -hmm. Human beings have only allegedly, if you take what Google says, because Google would never lie to you, right? Of course. Of course not. <laughs> so in Russia, they've allegedly drilled eight miles into the ground. Mm -hmm. So to then presuppose on your radius of the Earth at 3,959 miles, 
how is it that you know what the rest of your Tootsie Pop is at 3,900 and 501 miles is? Then you're taking second and third party information, right? Testimony from scientists, testimony from priests. So they've created a priesthood that you have to believe that they know what the center of your Tootsie Pop gobstopper that you live on. But you can't verify that yourself because you don't have the equipment, the resources, or the money for the university to do that. So you have to take their word for it. So if the earth goes on infinitely forever, horizontally, to me that sounds more realistic because water lays level and flat and there's more water than land. So with that being said, is there an edge of the earth then? How do you get to the edge of the, sh is the edge of the shoreline? Okay, yeah. yeah. So then it's just more land, and then it's just more shoreline. And then it's just more water, and then it's just more shorelines. So. Because again, what you're doing is you're just doing one of these floaty disc in outer space. Outer space doesn't exist like you're told from Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Like, is that why you believe outer space exists? Because well, of Hollywood? Well, I'm just saying, so why are there like meteor showers and all that, right? Yeah. Clear evidence that debris from the sky mm -hmm. falling down. So, where does that Have you seen from? any meteorites? Have, have I seen meteorites? Yeah. yeah. Have yeah. you grabbed one up from the ground? Well, you can't because they're hot as hell. Uh, when I was in Arizona, there was a meteorite shower. We saw them in the desert fall to the ground. Okay, did you go to where they were? Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. and then you grabbed one? Not going to because they're extremely hot. So you didn't even wait a day for it to cool down and go back out there and no, grab well, it? Well, I was there for vacation, so... I would have stayed there and grabbed one. I would, that's just me, I guess, but could it just be rocks from the dome firmament above us? So, we're not dome, dome, so, so you're saying there's like mountains or something up there from the dome? There's a ceiling above us, for sure. What's it made out of that? I don't know, could be, the reason why we see it as, as blue, it could be like frozen or cold hydrogen or so something like that. what's past that then? Uh, could be some kind of obsidian or some kind of rock. So we're like, formation, but we are in an enclosed system and we have never been to outer space. So, so whatever it is that you think is outer space is not real. Santa Claus is not real, my man. For sure, for sure. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm telling you, like, you're this is like reality check, right? Outer space does not exist as prescribed by mainstream oh, yeah, narrative. Yeah. So, so, but did you know that Japan has the capabilities of creating meteor showers on their own? Yeah. Um, just, just playing devil advocate. Yeah. Know, not time to disrespect. Well, you can say whatever. Um, you want. What's what's the source on that? <coughs> so I can do something. Yeah, you can type in uh, Japan makes shooting stars, and in 2020, allegedly, they're going to do this big display of it oh, for the I'm, Olympics. I'm guessing that's with um, like projectors and all that. Could be. Is there anything else you can debunk for us? Well, what do you, I mean, I don't know where you're at, so. Like, like, I don't know, like, your purpose is, like, is your purpose trying to convince people to, like, or is it just for knowledge, right? Just for knowledge. Just it's just knowledge. to um, expand your mind a little bit, because I can't convince you of anything here in however long you sit here for. Okay, for sure. And, and I wasn't convinced when I first heard about it either. So. Well, I had to sit by myself, separate from my friends so that I could get into my own person and, set, and and empty out what I had been taught before because what does this look like to you? A satellite. A satellite? Okay, but where is it? It's on the ground, okay? Now Google satellites in space and show me a genuine photograph of a satellite in outer space and I'll give you a bottle of water. I'll give you a bottle of water anyway. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, all of your satellites are... Satellite in... Oh, sorry. What? Satellite in space. Is this one? Is this one? Come on, man. They're all artist renditions. 
They're all composites created on a computer. I've looked. Same thing with your images of Earth from space, too. Yeah. All of your Google images of Earth from space are all composites. Yeah. And they're admitted to be by a man named Bob Simmons and Matt Powerland, who formerly worked for NASA. So when you, when you really start to investigate all of the images that we get of Earth from space, not only are they all, ironically enough, from the United States side, but this one is bigger than that one. I mean, even that one is bigger than any other one that you see on here. So what they're doing is they're scanning a flat plane with a high altitude balloon or airplane, you know, 65,000 feet up. Right. And then they composite them into and paint them onto a circle. Interesting. And then that's what they display to everybody, you know, here. And so... Got another question for you. There's your flight paths on a flat earth. So when you look at your flight paths... So are you saying that in the flat earth it's like... Like, I know you kind of answered it, but is yeah. it like this, like a circle, or is it, could it just be like flat like this? The consensus, well, it's not floating in our space. It's yeah. it's firm and stationary. There's no movement. Mm -hmm. So there's no mechanical device that has ever been created to show a spin of the earth or movement of the earth separate from the ether. So it's like, how high do you have to be to see the earth separate from our environment to spin on its own? That's never been documented on a 48-hour film from outer space. So the consensus would be that there's an ice wall surrounding because water has to be contained. But I still think that that's a prison projection for your mind. So it still doesn't allow you to think an in infinite. So, that makes sense. So I just think so that it goes on infinite. If I went from here, like straight this way, like, like I kept going, like, edge or No, no, no. Again, you would reach the shoreline. You keep saying edge. Why do you keep saying it? Who well, told you that? Well, when I think of flat, like, I feel like there's an edge of it. So, like, Why? When, when Columbus was like, they're like, hey, you're going to fall off the face of the planet. That's just what I've been taught. Yeah, so, yeah exactly. Yeah. So, you know, no offense, but all you're doing is just regurgitating scripture. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. You know, so if you were to do this, because really in reality, this is what you do. Right? You go from airport to airport to airport. The three of us don't have the resources or the money to buy a $10 million yacht to boat anywhere we want or a plane to go anywhere we want, right? So when you look at your flight paths on a ball earth, does this make sense? Or does a straight line between A and B look, make more sense? Well, are you also taking into account the distance and the fuel costs too? Like That's what airplane companies do, right? Yeah, but so if, once you go, if you go from here, instead of going from here to here, that's a lot of land. Like, and I don't think there's too many planes that have the fuel capacity to go from here to here. So go from here to here, different airports. Right, but again, this is what it really looks like, okay. most likely. Mm -hmm. So wouldn't that make sense? Yeah, I guess so. Have yeah. you ever been to, I'm sure you've been to a restaurant, right? Have you ever served at a restaurant before? Yeah. Okay, I've worked in restaurants also, and so what is what does a server always want its their customers to do? Well, tip them, yeah. right? Exactly. <laughs> but um, be you want to be really nice to them and and cordially try to get them to get out of their table so that you can turn it, right? Yeah. You don't want them there any more than forty five minutes, right? So you want to have that table turn so you can get another group of people at that table, right? That's the same idea with airplane companies. They want to go from A to B the quickest, most efficient way to then get their people dropped off, have connecting points, and then right. make the most money. You that know? makes sense, too. So, two things. All right. Yeah. Area 51. Yeah, right? right? Yeah. So, if you had the opportunity to go, like, what, like, would you? And, like, why, why would you, too? Aliens aren't real. You don't think so? I know so. Yeah. Yeah. They're demonic entities. Are you Christian? I am, yeah. Oh, all right, cool. Mm -hmm. Do you, would you say consensus on most flat earthers are, are, are Christian? Or no, I would say most flat earthers are at least agnostic. Yeah. But they do trust that there is a intelligent creator designer. And I feel like one of the points of flat earth, whether it be controlled release 
or not is to get rid of the whole idea of atheism and thinking of oneself. What Flat Earth has really done that I've observed being in it has formed a community and it really changes your mindset of how you treat people around you. So there's a lot of intent with your voice, with your, with your words, with the things that you do. You do things not because you want something in return, but you do things just because you do them. Like there's no reason to get anything. But that's just how this place works. It works in a karmatic type of an environment. You know, you get what you you do, you know. You get what you deserve type of deal. So you're always, you know, uh, richer to everybody than people are going to be a dick to right, you, right? right? Mm -hmm. So I just try to go about my business in more of a like a neutral to positive because this place will always drag you down, right? So it's just something to think about, about all your pictures and stuff from outer space that, you know, tend to be more fake on the fake side. So, you know, even like, you know, images of Pluto, Disney started around the same time as NASA. Um, this is a, you know, whether you want to take it for what it's worth, it is a meme book, but your ISS is, uses harnesses, green screens, augmented reality, parabolic flight. So, um, so are you saying stars are like reflection of the, the ceiling or whatever? Uh, well, they're luminaries. Yeah. yeah. So they're not anything that we can physically go to. And if and you were, would you say the same thing about the sun? Like, why does the sun? Move this one, this one? Um, allegedly, this is what it's doing. Is it's just traversing across a flat plane, and it has a particular relationship with the North Pole. So it's just doing one of these. So during the winter time, it just takes a more wider, broader circuit around the flat plane. That's why in the winter time, the sun is lower on the horizon because it's further down there, you know, up above more uh, Australia. So interesting. And why? Why is the government? Why is the world hiding this information? Like, could be all sorts of reasons to hide a creator, to hide more land. Um, to keep people at a lower frequency level because it, it's more control. Um, ancient maps used to have like dragons drawn on the map yeah. and to say like, hey, there's dragons down there, don't go down there. So it was their way of like keeping people away from exploration. So, so if, let's just say, somehow I like accumulated tons of fun to get to the shore. Yeah. Sure. Would the government try to stop me, or...? I don't know, I'd go with you and find out. All right, awesome. But until that happens, it's just a dream, and prove that outer space goes on infinitely forever. Another thing, what... I'm not trying to be disrespectful again, yeah, but what would, it, what, would, what, what would it be for you to have you think the other way? Just be like, oh man, I, I was wrong. Like, what, what would be the... Thing that we're well, let me just preface this again, okay? Yeah. This is an image. This is not real. Yeah, no. This is made in China. You've never seen the Earth at a 23.4 degree tilt. Okay? Water lays level and flat. If we can agree that water is 71% of the Earth, then the whole entire Earth is flat. Right. So if you're a Bible believing Christian, it says in Genesis 1 that there is a firmament above us separating the waters from the waters. There's a ceiling above us. So we can't even get high enough to see the entire earth. And any Christian that wants to come to me and thinks that we can, that's blasphemy because in Job 38 and Isaiah 40, 12 says that you are incapable of ever measuring the waters and the, the land. So you cannot, no human being can get high enough to see the earth in all of its entirety. Otherwise that's blasphemy. So is that why the entire Babel, the God is like, all right, chill out, and then like spread everybody away? Yeah, I mean, what's more realistic, to have Jesus on top of the mount, you know, being tempted by Satan and Matthew 4 on a ball earth? Can you see the entire earth on a ball? Can you see the entire earth on top of North Pole? Probably. Right? Christ could, because he could see everything, right? He created the thing, right? So it's just, you know, something to think about that I came into the idea of Flat Earth before I had an understanding that it was in the Bible describing it being immovable and firm. And then a few months later is when I found that it was in the Bible. 
because I can see water lay level and flat. Right. You know. So. Uh, thank you for talking with us. I appreciate you stopping. Glad that. Uh, can I get a picture of this? Of course you can. Yeah, All right. sure, Aaron, can you get a picture of me? <laughs> I'll see you on YouTube's. Oh yeah, for sure. Hey, are you filming a video right now? I am. Oh, oh okay, cool. So we'll be on. Say flat earth on three. <laughs> One, two, three, flat, flat earth. earth. <laughs> hey, again, hey, sledge it. Yeah. yeah, thanks a lot for stopping, guys. Thank you, bro. Cool you get, get, get a water. Yeah, go ahead. Thank you, appreciate Thank you. it. Yeah, no worries. Can I take your card? Okay. Yeah, do it. You, yeah, I got a mixed tape. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Want a mixed tape? There you go. Music or just knowledge? Knowledge, right, cool. my man. Yeah. So like a little podcast. You get a little That's podcast right. going? Yeah. Take it you easy, man. You have a podcast? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's on It's on the YouTube channel. Oh, okay. Uh, you authentic just... Intent. Okay. That's yeah. How many people are watching you right now? Well, I'm doing a uh, live stream right now. It's a premiere. I don't know how many I have. It hasn't updated. But... All right, cool. So there's a live stream. So if you go on my YouTube channel right now, uh, you can say hi. Hi. Hey. What's up? <laughs> Whoa, okay. Awesome. It was really cool. Thank you for being yeah, Thanks for being like respectful. Yeah, and, uh, thank you. Yeah. No, I got I, I totally get this is a challenging Wait, how topic. Many, how often do you get people like I'm I'm assuming like a lot that just like contradict everything you say? Yeah, I that's why I have my troll pez. <laughs> you know? But if, most people are cool and respectful, like yeah. we understand that we have free speech here still, right, at least yeah. for the time being. Mm. You know, so it's just really agitating the the other side of the story, you know, really. And just making people more aware to critically think for themselves and taking other people's right. opinions and information as fact. So, like you were saying before, we're taught one direction in school, and if you look at it in the Mormon church, for example, or other church bodies, they're all taught one thing and way to think, too. Right. So Interesting. So, thank you yeah, again. Pleasure. Thanks again. Thank Take you. it easy, guys. Hello, gentlemen. What's this about? Oh, just uh, stirring it up a little bit, talking about flat Earth. What do you think about the concept of the Earth going on infinitely forever and not spinning? Well, we know that that's not correct. Okay, could you show me the observation of which we've done to show the Earth spinning? Here on Earth? Outside. No, 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 no. Here on Earth, what mechanical device can show us the Earth moving? Probably not. Okay, so how do you know the Earth is moving? <laughs> okay, yeah, fair enough. You've been taught that, okay? But that would be then, if you haven't verified that information yourself, you're no different than a Bible-believing Christian believing everything their pastor says. Okay, well, the consensus doesn't necessarily mean that things are right. Well, I agree with that. Okay, and so the reason why Einstein came up with the theory of relativity is because it was proven that the Earth cannot be separated from the ether, right? So how high do you have to be to see the Earth in and of, in and of itself spinning, right, separate from us here on Earth? I'm saying, yeah, so the sun has a trajectory much like this, possibly going in a circuit like this, and as it becomes winter out, which unfortunately is, seems to be happening because the sunsets are becoming earlier and earlier, the horizon of the sun is here lower on the horizon, right? Right. Okay, so the sun has some kind of a relationship with the North Pole, where it's doing one of these right now, and then as it becomes summer, uh, winter out, it becomes more broad around here. Now, whether it's doing that or one of these up here and vortexes back down, the sun certainly is not 93 million miles away at a diameter of 400,000 miles. You're thinking, you're thinking the Earth is flat and there's things spinning around. Yeah, the luminaries move around us. If you were to do a time lapse of the uh, Polaris, you would be able to see that observation 
um, that all of the luminaries circle around Polaris. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, something like that? Okay. So at no point do we ever experience parallax because we're supposed to be traveling at um, almost 500 million miles an hour. Our solar system is supposed to be doing that. In addition to the Earth is supposed to be circling around the sun at 66,600 miles an hour. Yep. Okay, so where is, we have always, always, always seen the same constellations. They have never changed. They're so far away. And that's the idea, but we're never, we're never going towards this so, great attractor. So, okay, so on Earth, but we have sent people in space, and they do circumnavigate. Okay. And so do the satellites. Okay. So they're in low, low Earth orbit. They're not in outer space. You know that, right? Well, they're only 251 miles from the surface yeah. of the Earth. That's low Earth orbit. Yeah, how about you guys who Okay. What about them? That's outside the Yeah, how did they get through the Van Allen belt? The radiation belt that would cause them to basically burn up? I'm just saying, how did they get through the, radi the Van Allen belt? They don't know how they did it either. They claim that because they were unaware of the Van Allen belt, that they just went through it because... Ignorance means that you can just do things, but then your knowledge of it means that you can't now. That doesn't make any sense. Your thinking is that is the Earth is flat and there's stuff that's spinning on top of it? Yes, sir. Does the Earth sit on something? Um, if you were to look into the Bible, it would say that it sits on four pillars. Okay, no, but the length or the breadth of the Earth and all the waters contained in it, uh, according to Job 38 and Isaiah 40, 12, are immeasurable. So human beings cannot get high enough to see the earth in all of its grandeur anyways. So, so you're thinking that it's a flat earth and it's sitting on four pillars? Yeah. Okay. Yep. And, and so uh, the moon shot was not really a moon shot? No, sir. So what had happened is they were in a fuselage and they blacked out the entire interior of that fuselage, opened the one window, and then they, put a tra they had a transparency in front of that window. And they claimed that they were 120,000 miles from the earth. When in reality, they were probably 60. And never on the moon? Never went a ton to the moon, no, sir. No, it's not a physical object that can be landed on. So it's not a rock. There, is there a conspiracy or something that education systems have said that it's around, around Earth and things orbiting? Well, to claim that there are no conspiracies is quite ignorant, no offense, right? I'm just trying to understand yeah. your perspective. Yeah, and so yes, there is a withholding of information to the public. And so did you know that in 1927, Universal Pictures was displaying a ball Earth before all of their movies? And so we didn't even have the alleged rocket technology to get up to high enough to see it from this perspective until the late 50s, right? And so if they did get high enough to see that they couldn't get high enough, to see the Earth from this perspective, and then they came back down and they're like, "So what do we say? What do we do?" Well, we can't we can't tell them that the Earth isn't a ball because we were already predictably programming people that it is. So there's a withholding of information, and that's to, to justify your uh, space program. Yeah, for sure. To give people the illusion of outer space being real, and in my opinion, one of the ways that they're going to uh, alleviate the pressure of space travel and all that stuff is they're going to fake an alien invasion. And we've seen this information for the past 50 years with comic books like Buck Rogers and Star Trek, Star Wars, and various other means of propagating outer space so, so who's years before the moon landing. Who's, to, who's to theirs. They have control Their over space. whoever you want to claim is uh, over us. Who, who do you I don't know. I know that there is a cabal over the entire Earth right now. A particular group of people that do run the Earth. Now, we can point fingers at who that is all day, but what does that solve? What do we do about it? How do we become empowered? So what's your answer? I just come out here and I enjoy the nice weather. I share this information. If, people, if it resonates with people, then they can choose to decide to explore on their own time and then we as a collective consciousness can change things as time progresses, but, you know. Thank you for sharing.
sure. That's all I got for you. I do have a YouTube channel. I'd love for you to uh, come by. Well, thanks, sir. Yeah. Have a nice afternoon. Too. Thanks. Can you some of, your of course you can. Yeah. Would you like a bottle of water too? I'm all right. Okay. I'm trying not to use yeah. extra plastic. Yeah, sure. So what, what do we have going on today, fellas? We're in the midst of a run, so we probably can't hang out. But oh yeah, that's fine. I got a little uh, brochure here too for you. Just gonna check that out. Fold that in there. Would you like something or? Yeah, maybe I'll grab a brochure. Yeah, I'll yeah. throw it in here for you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, no worries. So, how do you like the weather right now? It's nice. Yeah, yeah. it's really nice. Yeah. Nice mid seventies, sunny weather. Can't complain. Oh, I know, right? Yeah. Another two more months, and you guys are back in school, huh? Sure. Probably yeah. A sooner. Okay. Yeah. Probably late uh, August or so. Yep. I'll be hitting up the university. I actually go stomp the grounds over there when the Gophers play. Stand outside of TCF Bank Stadium. Maybe I'll see you. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Thanks a lot for stopping, fellas. Yeah. Thanks. Bye. Take your picture? Yeah, as long as you take my information, right? Oh, well, I gotta be honest, I don't quite agree with you, but it's cool, and, you know. Yeah, I mean, but cool doesn't that, does that mean that you have to not take in new information, though? Yeah, I was always open to ideas, but I'm old enough to remember the actual home landing. Okay, so you saw it on the radio, huh? TV. Oh, yeah, yeah, that thing, that... Yeah, did you know that Dick, Dick Nixon said after all that happened that the American public won't believe anything until they see it on TV? <laughs> kind of makes sense, huh? Yeah. Well, I appreciate it, though. Take care, man. Oh, it's okay. I gotta get home. Thanks. All right, man. Have Hope, a good night. You too. Hey, guys. How you doing? Hi. All right. How are you? Doing well, thanks. Would you like a bottle of water? Yeah, go for it. Thank you. How's the walk today for you? Excellent. Good. Has it ever crossed your mind that the Earth is a non-rotating level plane? No. No? Is that what you believe? Uh, I have a pretty good idea. Do you want to check it out? We've got a YouTube channel. Maybe you could just uh, have an open mind, right? But not so much your brain falls out, right? Why do you care so much? Well, I just feel like it's important to take in both sides of the story. Mm -hmm. It really helps a person formulate a solid opinion on various topics. It's always good to have then the best opinion. And then you can choose what you want to believe or who you want to listen to, right? Thank you. Take care. Yeah, um, so if you were to look on your bottom right there, mm -hmm. so that's the idea that, so New Zealand's somewhere around here, right? Yeah. Okay, so we go to California, and then we could go to Sydney, and then we could go here. But the distance is one The distance is from what you're, you're told, or what do you mean? Well, I know the distance. I fly on the airplane. Sure. <laughs> I you... just came from Europe yesterday. Awesome. So, so you took so I know. So you took like um, a, 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 you took a mechanical device with you to figure out the mileage. No, there is mileage from the airplane. Okay. So is that mileage from them? It's a ball Earth then, right? Well, it count, it counts. It knows how much gas it burns, so you can calculate very easily. Sure. And then if I was to go to church and then my priest told me information about the Bible, then I just believe him, right? Or do I look at the information myself? Well, you can't look at it yourself because you're not going to walk on the watch to the common step. Okay. You can see it from the concrete. You can see the curvature from the snow. There's no curvature. But you, there's no curvature. What so, is, how do you know? What is fun for you? Because if you understand the mathematics that's involved with the spherical ball geometry, 
you'll know that no matter how high you get, you will never see curvature. I uh, just understand the math and magic that goes along with the ball earth. Do I have to be to understand it? I don't, actually. I could just look into it on my own time because I have more free time than I'm sure you might because I don't have a 45-hour-a-week job. Okay, I have more free time to understand the concept of why this ball earth is such an easy way to deceive simple-minded people. What, what? Even your th even your what, physicist Neil deGrasse Tyson says that you can't get high enough to see curvature at 25 miles. But why are they trying to deceive us? Why do you lie to your children about Santa Claus? What's in it for you lying to children about Santa Claus? To, to make it. Okay, no, it's not, it's not part of the experience. It's called lying to people who are less intelligent than you are. Are you also under the belief that you are the earth is old? The earth is 38 years old, because that's how long I've been here. So if I choose to take anything before that, then, then I'm going on whatever the people tell me through history books. So if you have the idea that everything that's in history books is true, then you're incredibly gullible. Rotation of planets. That you Show me see. the rotation. You can no, you can't. You've always seen this. You've always seen the eye of Jupiter. No. no yeah, no. you have. Oh, yes, it is. Yeah. It is always there. Do you have a telescope? Because obviously, I'm questioning you. Do you have a telescope? A telescope to cannot see over a hundred million miles away, man. Those luminaries are incredibly close. The lights in the sky—they're not planets. It's a wandering star before. 50, 60 years ago. 50, 60 years ago? Yeah, within at least 100 years, the dictionary has changed from planet to wander, from wandering star to planet. No, not. So you walk away because you think you're better than me? No, I don't think you're better. I'm better than you. Yeah, you do. You've never landed on the moon before. So how do you know it can be landed on? You haven't used the scientific method to That's land on the moon, have you? No, it's not, because you believe that you can land on the moon, and you also believe that they've landed RC cars on Mars. Maybe I don't believe that. But I do believe that I can see Jupiter's eye come in and go out. That doesn't matter. That doesn't mean you can land on it, sir. That doesn't mean you can send a probe to it, either. It doesn't matter. You can't go to it. So why don't you worry about the Earth and observing water laying level and flat when it's contained? So at what point does the water then turn in? Are you going to listen to me or are you just going to talk over me? Okay. <laughs> Good for you. So show me water conforming to the exterior of a shape to make a ball earth that you've never seen before. I'm actually asking about tides. What about them? What are tides? What's your theory for tides? It doesn't matter what they are. That doesn't prove a ball earth. I want to hear what your theory for tides. Why do we have tides? That would be a typical one for a flat earth. Why? Do you think that the moon can draw water, but then it can't pull a butterfly? Come on, man. So That's gravity has discernment. Know, right? Gravity has discernment. I mean, you're telling me you've got the math. I want the PhD math you can't understand gravity. A satellite orbit, right? How do you put a satellite? So you're gonna walk away because I can't? Because yeah, I'm really yeah. Good yeah. for you, man. Good for you. I'm gonna walk away too. Okay. This is a joke. Yeah, well, it's gonna be a joke when you meet your creator. <laughs> oh man, Earth is not flat. Yeah, well, it's going to be a joke when you meet your creator, sir. Have a nice afternoon. Bike safely out there. Careful for the puppies. Oh, swearing now, huh? Because that's productive. You're a real man now. <clears throat> Biking around and, like... Pissing around your territory isn't going to prove anything there, tough guy. So why don't you carry on before you get maced? Maced? I will destroy you if you You won't to. do anything because you got your female there. You're a beta male. You're a beta. Go have your woman tell you what to do, you coward. Make sure you, uh, she tucks you into bed tonight, bud. Crazy flat earth dude. Hey, what's up? Oh, I'm just Lois in the building. How are you? Good to see you. <laughs> Had a rowdy one here a minute ago. Oh really? Oh good. He biked around the he biked around the table and 
called me an effing idiot and yada yada yada.